Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Jacoby. If you're new here, hi, my name's Jacoby. I'm 22. I've been playing volleyball for like 12 years for like a really long time. So if you want to, go ahead and subscribe. That would really help me out. Also, leave a like and a comment because it also helps out my channel. So thank you guys so much for the support. And let's get into the video. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to tell you my like master packing list for a volleyball tournament. The volleyball essentials, what to pack for a volleyball tournament. Am I an overpacker? Yes, that is okay though, because I am prepared. So I have a whole list on my phone right here that I'm gonna read you off and you're gonna be set, okay? Okay, so first we have two categories. One is your actual game bag and two is just your like overnight bag, your suitcase, whatever. So we'll start with your game bag. You need to have your jerseys, both of them, okay? If you have multiple, bring all of them because you never know. Because one time when I was coaching, my girl who was a DS forgot her other jersey and I'm like, well, what if I wanted to make you a libero? Because our libero got hurt, so we had no libero because she didn't bring her jersey. You gotta bring your jersey, please. T-shirts, um, I like to bring t-shirts with me just because like, I don't know, I'm really picky about that. Like, I don't like sitting around in my jersey, or if I am, like, I like to have a t-shirt over it. I don't know, it's weird. Or sometimes I like to warm up in a t-shirt and then change it to my jersey. Yeah, you never know. Okay, so just bring some t-shirts. I bring, like, two. Next, you wanna bring some knee pads. I usually bring two different pairs, two different colors, because I'm psycho. I don't know why I do that, but two white, I mean, what? One white pair and one black pair, just in case you never know. Next, if you wear elbow pads, bring your elbow pads. So they're just like the pads that go right here on your like mid forearm up to like here. Those just protect your elbows. Usually like liberos wear those, but like anyone can wear them. Like who cares? Next, you want to bring like your braces. So if you wear ankle braces, bring them. Your knee braces, pack them. Please don't forget that because that is very important. Some people cannot play about their braces or their knee braces, so. Don't be that person. <laughs> Next, you can bring some tape. So I usually packed like KT tape just in case I needed to tape something or someone else. Um, I also packed hairspray, which is weird, but usually like sometimes at club tournaments, you never know the conditions of the floor that you're gonna be playing on. So if the floor was really, really slippery and dusty, like I would be slipping all over the place and I was like, mm-mm. So I got some hairspray, like a little mini hairspray. I'm pretty sure it was like a Tresemme hairspray now that I think about it. Random. Anyways, I sprayed it on the bottom of my shoes and boom, no more sliding because you're gonna stick. I mean, not stick to where you can't move, but like you'll be a lot more grippy than you would if you didn't have the hairspray. Next, bring hair ties, bring multiple because you know everyone just likes to braid each other's hair for some reason, so just bring a bunch of hair ties, whatever. Next, bring a headband. Um, this would be really crucial for me just because like Sometimes I like to have my hair out of my face or sometimes I don't want to wear a headband at all. But you never know. So always keep a backup in your bag or someone else needs it. That's also the reason why I bring a bunch of stuff. It's just because some people might need it or they forget things and it just make everyone life, everyone's life easier if you just, you know, okay. You, you know what I'm saying. Next for shoes, you want to bring your actual playing shoes. Do not forget your shoes because you know who did that all the time? Me. My dad would be so mad at me because I literally for would forget my game shoes at the house. And he was like, Jacoby. I was like, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. So I made sure from then on. Actually, that's a lie. That happened, like the first time that happened, I was like 13, right? I forgot my shoes in, the la in my senior season of college. Like I literally left them. So a girl who was playing on the JV team was like, bro, give me your shoes. So I had to play in her shoes and I had a great game. So maybe it was her shoes. <laughs> um, and next, I would bring some like slides or Crocs just so you can change out of your game shoes. But it's not good for your feet just to be stuffed up or you know, just in your game shoes all the time. Also, you don't want to really walk around or like walk outside off the court in your game shoes because it can hurt like the treading on your shoe, you can wear them down easier. So I always bring a pair of slides or Crocs. Next, I would pack a pair of extra socks, um, low socks, once I would change out of my um, game shoes and then a back a pair of high socks because I would bleed, like my toes would randomly bleed. That was weird, but like, I don't know, it just happens all the time. Probably because my shoes didn't fit correctly, but here we are. Next, I would bring like a thin jacket just because sometimes it gets so cold in some of those conventions in as you play in for club or you're in a cold gym and you need to stay warm. Yeah, bring a jacket, bring a jacket or a sweatshirt or a hoodie, whichever you prefer, do your thing. Next, you wanna bring tampons or pads. Always just have those in your bag because you never know when your period will come, literally. Or you, maybe you do, like maybe you're super regular, like good for you, but like sometimes you're not, so. Next, I would bring some sweatpants just because like I like to lounge in sweatpants. Um, and then adversely, I would bring like shorts just because I like to lounge around in shorts. And also I like to cover my spandex just because I don't like to walk around in my spandex because it's just uncomfortable and I like to, I don't know, I like the feeling of fabric on my, I don't know, uh, I'm weird. <laughs> Next, it was to bring your water. Like do not create your water, that's one 
one of the, like the really really important things because you don't want to be super dehydrated and you can save some money that way because the concession stands at club tournaments high school tournaments they're so expensive for what like why would i buy a bottle of water for five dollars that's crazy so bring your own water and also bring your own snacks because you can literally be at a tournament for hours like you can be in the a.m wave that's literally like 7 a.m to like 3 p.m okay so you're gonna need some snacks and once again the concessions are overpriced they are guys they are next you're gonna bring like your deodorant your chapstick like all the little things you need if like cosmetically like if you wear makeup like when you play bring that or whatever i don't know um technology wise like if you vlog huh, bring your camera or bring your phone whatever um bring a phone charger for sure because you're once again you're gonna be there all day every day okay um and then bring some headphones those are so important because club tournaments get loud and you definitely want to be entertained while you're off or maybe you're refing. just bring headphones trust me Next, you want to bring a portable charger. I always brought one just because sometimes, like, they're, it's so hard to find, like, an outlet in these places or they're all taken or something like that. So bring a portable charger if you have one. And then lastly, bring ibuprofen in your game bag. And if this all doesn't fit, do not worry because you really, you can decide for yourself with what is necessary and what's not. But that's just a master list. Okay, now moving on to your suitcase. First, don't forget your pajamas. I always used to forget that. So that's why I packed extra t-shirts. So I'm just leaving my t-shirts and shorts. So make sure that you pack your pajamas. Next, your, your toiletries, like your toothbrush, toothpaste, I don't know, maybe your, your medicine, your shower cap, or your, like your body wash, you know, all that stuff. Bring it because you're gonna, like I was notorious for forgetting like my toothbrush or my toothpaste and I had to go like make my dad go buy me some. So don't do that. Don't be that kid, don't be that person. Next, you wanna pack like your underwear, your bras, your sports bras, all that good stuff. Um, and how I strategically packed, it's like the stuff that I would need for volleyball, I definitely packed in my game bag so I knew I had it. And then the stuff I didn't need for volleyball would go in my suitcase. So next you're gonna bring like a cute outfit and cute shoes. So sometimes usually like teams will go out for team dinner or like whatever, so you wanna have a cute fit for that, so bring that. Also bring like an eye mask or maybe like your silk pillowcase or your pillow or your blanket, whatever makes you comfortable, bring it. But don't forget it at the hotel because I've also done that. <laughs> Next, you want to bring like your um, fa like a face mask and like your skincare and stuff because I knew that like after like I would play, I would love to do face masks or maybe you want to do face masks with your teammates in their rooms, something like that, super fun for the summertime. Um, also, you want to bring your schoolwork, okay? You can bring like your binders, your notebooks, your laptop, or your iPad or whatever you have and all the chargers and stuff and your Apple Watch and like the chargers and for that because like that is almost like the first glimpse into like student athlete life. It's, it's like being on a club team and traveling all the time, but you still have to do your homework, right? Or like being on a high school team and you still have to do like an essay that's due tonight, but you haven't started, but you have a game, you know? It really builds character. But yeah, make sure you bring that as well. That's it for today's video, you guys. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please let me know in the comments. I like this video, subscribe, follow me on TikTok and Instagram at jacoby.sims, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye.